Hey everybody, it's me, Remy, the comic book poser, and today my collectible Swap 2 box came in the mail, and I'm very excited to check it out. So we'll see what's in the box after this. So at the end of July, uh, beginning of August, I got a, an Instagram message from Mama J, who has run a collectible swap between a bunch of different channels in the past and this is the second one that was getting put together and I think it's she, Spectre, and Geeky Mama Bear were all uh, the ones kind of doing some of the organizational stuff and when I got asked if I wanted to participate I was like yeah that sounds like a cool idea and then when I had to pack my box for the person I got uh, I became real terrified and real self-conscious about what I was packing uh, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and I'll tell you why here in a bit. Uh, but before I forget, check down in the description below. You'll see the link to all of the channels who participated in the Collectibles uh, Swap 2. So check out everybody else's video. I'll tell you to check out uh, Popular Opinions because that is who I sent my mystery box to. And I'll, like I said, again, I'll talk about it at the end. So, I don't recognize the name uh, on the front because I'm bad at knowing people's real names. I know their YouTube names. Uh, so, here we go. I've got a little letter. It says, Thank you for taking part in the Community Collectible Swap 2. It's always great discovering other channels and getting the comic and the pop community together. I hope you are happy with these items as I watched a bunch of your videos to figure out what types of things you might like. Keep killing it on the comic front and I will keep watching. Always unleash your inner nerd. And the person who had me is Mr. Techbot and I think that's kind of cool because Mr. Techbot and I have started, you know, watching each other's stuff and just talking about some YouTube things in general uh, because I watch a lot of his videos and then every Friday he and uh, Wayne Co. go live, and I've gotten in there and have become my normal disruptive self to, you know, play in their chat because I've started to figure out that I can be me around them and not, you know, have to be, be guarded and timid that I still hold it back a little bit. So the first thing that I've got is a pop, and I'm going to try my best to not look at it, although you've seen the rest of my pop unboxings where I'm peering in the box and Toby is, you know, looking around and I'm trying to get him to do the mystery, so, boom. Oh, we've got the first one, and it's in a protector. It's Alexi from the Black Widow movie that may never come out because of COVID that Marvel and Disney have stubbornly said over and over and over again, we're not going to release this direct to digital, so... You know, maybe it'll go the path of New Mutants and we'll never see it again. Although, they say New Mutants is still coming out in theaters. Uh, this is also nice because I don't have um, a Romanoff or a Black Widow pop from this run yet. I do have Taskmaster because he's one of my favorite villains and I'm excited to see if his role in Black Widow will give him a bigger role in the MCU. The second thing, a plushie. So I got a Jerry, and if you've seen a lot of my unboxing videos, you know that my kids definitely look for something uh, that they can have, and what goes with Jerry? Tom. Uh, so those, those are awesome. This gets my nostalgia pieces going back from when I was younger, because I, well, younger, I still will watch Tom and Jerry cartoons if they happen to be on wherever I can see them. So those, those are nice ads, I appreciate that. No, oh, these look like pins. Oh, we've got a Deadpool and a, a Spider-Man pin, so those are cool. My my backpack, I say this every time I get pins, and I'll actually bring my backpack downstairs since you're looking at my classroom for the next couple of weeks, probably the rest of the semester, but we still think we can go back to school. Uh, but those are going on the backpack, so I appreciate that. Alright, we got another pop. 
But yeah, I think this was was really cool uh, to to get channels together like Mr. Techbot said, and I think Mr. Techbot's name is Chris. Which clap is it on? Nope, not that one. Yeah. Uh, so like Chris said, I think this is a cool way to get people together, and we were some we were separated in different Instagram chats, and I met a bunch of very very interesting people that. Now I can ask more than one person to to answer my questions as I figure out more and more of the pop side. So, next one up is a, a Gamers vs. Iron Man. I think the only Gamer vs. one I have is Captain America. So, you know, we're two for two in terms of the things that I collect pop-wise. So, Chris has definitely nailed that one for me. And I think Toby's going to see that Iron Man one and go, You got a new Iron Man? That is so cool. And we'll see if he tries to steal it from me. Next one up. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, so it's the Harley Quinn and the Beaver. I still haven't had the time to watch the Birds of Prey movie yet, but I have loved all of the DC Black Label uh, titles that have come out focusing on Harley. So there was Harleen. Uh, there's Joker Harley Criminal Sanity, which looks at, like, Dr. Quinzel investigating him, and then the Birds of Prey one has been super awesome. So this is this is really really cool, and they've all been in pop protectors. And I don't know if that's him trying to pack them well, or if these are all pops that that are worth something and worthy of being in a protector. Because uh, well, either way, that's that's super cool because. I don't have very many things in protectors. All right, pop number four. These are bubble wrapped very well, I appreciate that. Oh, nice. Uh, so this is, is this the Armored Batman? Uh, yeah, so it's Armored Batman from 1997. It's part of the Batman 80 years stuff. And if you look over there on my newly reorganized wall, uh, I've got two of the Batman movie moments pops, one that I got for my birthday and one that came, I think, in my pop in the box. I've got uh, the classic Batman and Robin from the, the 50s, 60s uh, show, and then I have the movie moments from the, it's uh, either Batman or Batman Returns, where Batman is trying to push uh, the Joker off the top of the building. we got one more pop, and then it looks like we've got some comics in here. Oh, we got Cyborg Superman. So this is one of the ones that I know a lot of people were chasing for the San Diego Comic-Con releases. Both, was this the Walmart? I think Cyborg Superman was either Walmart or Target. Uh, but this was the first time I actually tried to go physically pop hunting on the day that things released. And I was looking for Cyborg Superman, uh, Wade Wilson, and... Stan Lee in a bathrobe, and the only one that I got was uh, Wade Wilson. So this is a cool one one to add that I'm very appreciative of this one. And I sent my, one of my extra Wade Wilsons that I picked up in my box because uh, I'm pretty sure that I ha heard uh, Cody from Popular Opinion say that he had a hard time getting some of those uh, Comic-Con ones too because the way the store went down. So here's our last little bundle. It looks like there are some comics and maybe some other things in there or at least some paper goods that are all wrapped up. So we will see what we got going on in here. The first one is Western Tales Wizard Indie Buzz Book, issue 2 from January of 2005, and it's autographed, so this is not an indie title that I've heard of, but uh, I think everybody knows that I really, 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 really uh, am digging my indie comics, that, you know, I will still have my loves of Marvel and DC, but from a reading perspective and a comics perspective, I'm loving 
uh, all of the independent comics that I can consume. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so it's a IDW print. Um, IDW is the one who's doing all of the Transformers stories that I think I'm on the verge of getting into. Uh, but when Transformers and My Little Pony came out, like, three weeks ago, I was unhealthily obsessed with how cool it was, and I still feel real fucking weird talking about how much I like that. Uh, but I think I'm gonna get into the Transformers run, and this is awesome, because it's, again, nostalgic to my childhood, and Toby, my four, almost five-year-old, loves playing with the Transformers. And the last one... Freak Show Princess. Oh, is this? Well, it's signed first. That's awesome. Is this a horror comic based on Freak Show? I'm going to guess that it is, and I'm real afraid of opening any of the signed books that I have, that if I've got books that are signed uh, that are newer or cheaper, then I won't open the signed book. I'll buy an unsigned book. But this is a nice hard stock or cardstock cover. It looks like a horror comic, and I don't want to go to the very end to read it, but at least it's got some really, really cool art. That, that two-page spread is beautiful. So, yeah, that's really cool, and I'm going to be very careful putting it back so I don't put it back on the sticky side. And I think... That is everything in my box. So, Chris, Mr. Techbot, you have nailed me completely. Uh, I am in love with all of the pops that these are all going to go on the, the front row of the shelf now. I, I, I don't know what to say that you got a, a really good read on me. And, you know, popular opinion, if you check this video out, uh, he really liked Venom and Carnage. Like, this dude has a massive Carnage tattoo on his arm, so I sent uh, a couple of low key maximum, like Carnage, Spider-Man, Venom issues his way, and then one of the things that I collect a lot of are the Venomized Pops, so I'm hoping that uh, you didn't have some of those already, or those were in the direction of what you, you collect anyway. If not, let me know, because I've got some other Carnage stuff that after I put my box in the mail and was terrified, I found, and I was like, ah, God damn it, that should have gone in the box. So, if, you know, hit me up if you watch my video, Cody. Uh, but this was an awesome idea. It brought a bunch of different people from the comic and pop community and, you know, those of us who cross over, even though I do the pop half not, not too well since I'm still learning. But it was a cool event. Mama J, thank you for organizing this. Chris, uh, amazing amazing job i can't find any stronger words than that but it feels like you know me at a deep level even if you just watched a couple of videos you found the couple of things that that i harp on in terms of what i love and i'm very appreciative and go check out all the content that that mr techbot does he does unboxings he's does some comic work as well and then go check out he and Wayne's live stream on Fridays. It's around, what's six, five central, or it's at four o'clock. I'm not good with time anymore because of COVID. But go check out Mr. TechBot stuff. Go look in the description down below and you'll see the links to every single channel who participated in uh, this round of the collectible exchange. Go see what everybody else was getting around. And then when you see uh, Mama J, if she organizes the next one or whoever organizes the next one when she's out, doing a call for people who might want to participate, jump in because you'll get to meet new people and you'll get some very, very cool things. So Mama J, Spectre, Geeky Mama Bear, anybody else who did organizational things that I'm not talking about at this moment, thank you so very much for doing this. Chris, thank you for the pops, the indie comics, the print, and then I'll wait for Toby to come down because we've got a couple of mystery boxes that we're going to unbox and I'll let him pick if he wants Tom or Jerry and then I'll let his sister, who I'll give middle child syndrome by allowing him to make that choice, um, you know, middle child syndrome, but she'll get the other one, and they'll both let Charlie play with them, so it was awesome. I'm getting rambly, but I appreciate it. Check out all the swap videos, and as always, thanks for stopping by, and have a good one.